Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to the channel. This is the um, first Wednesday in October. We are going to be doing a uh, Q&A. So our first question is, how do you reward yourself doing a work and life balance? A lot of what I do is um, I have a Fitbit that I use as far as <coughs> walking. I have my spiral Bible, which is right there. Um, I've got my big book of Sudoku, which is available on Amazon. I do like good number puzzles. Um, not saying that I am the there. Not saying I am the best at it, but I try. Um, Sorry about that, y'all. Let me get a cup of coffee. Okay. So, and I had a garden this year. <clears throat> the Texas heat killed it, but I did have a garden at some point. Had some strawberries, peppers, um, tomatoes, melons, all burnt up. What is the difference between remote and hybrid? So, we have three different ways to work. We have in person, which is not something my channel deals with usually. And that's where you leave your home, commute, go to a workplace, commute, and come back home. We have hybrid. So a hybrid is you're like two to three days out of the week or a week out of the month, however, partially in person and then partially remote. And then you have fully remote, which is where you are like what I do and a lot of that can change so I know that some companies are now doing their training in person and then remote so you're training in person six weeks eight weeks ten weeks whatever y'all stop at cats um, and then you are fully remote after that so you know it's just it's getting a little harder to find the truly remote jobs in 2023 um, I have noticed uh, there's fewer postings, um, even with the healthcare companies. Some classes are being canceled for business needs. Some are being put off. Positions are closing. So it, it's been tough. When is your next giveaway? That'll be Christmas. Um, the idea is and it's just kind of a nebulous idea, it's probably going to be one gift card per week. So um, on my Wednesday, or it might be two gift cards, you know, with double the amount on them. Um, we're going to just kind of see. Um, normally these gift cards are from Walmart because even if you don't prefer Walmart, there's usually a Walmart near most people in the country. Do you use candles or incense while working? I do. Um, now, I've got cats, which are here on the bed. And here. Yeah, see? Cats. So, okay. So, I've got cats on the bed. And, you know, lavender essence lavender oils are not the greatest form so i keep my candle only burning up here toward the desktop it sits on top and it just burns while i'm doing my thing um i have incense over here yeah over here and I burn incense every so often. Mostly it's stress relief kind of to wind down from the day. <clears throat> I'm worried about making steady money with a 1099 advice. More than one client. <laughs> um, now I think next rep you can't do that with, but I believe working solutions, um, Omni, I don't know if you can have more than one client. Live ops you can, they encourage more than one client. Um, I'm not going to talk about Arise because I think they're pieces of crap right now with what they're doing right now. That may change in the future. You know, I am open to discussion about that. But, yeah. Y'all have seen my video, What's Bad About Arise. So, you know. Um, <clears throat> I recommend having more than one income stream. Obviously, one of my income streams is YouTube. And 
at the beginning of 2023, I wasn't getting the money I had in 2021 and 2022. And I was like, ooh. Now, I don't use my YouTube money to pay bills. Um, that's kind of where I keep my savings and, you know, gift giving, giveaways, a little of this, a little of that, Bath and Body Works, you know, options there because I love Bath and Body Works. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, uh, I would say even if you have full time, do something part time a couple hours on the days off, you know, um, hotel planner, remote tasks. Um, tell us uh, the other chat places you know do something like that what are some false work from home promises um, the big one we see is people wanting to inter interview you on telegram that is a scam now sometimes people will use teams video conferencing where you see them and they see you some people will use zoom understandable but telegram Google Hangouts, Skype, not great. Another one <coughs> is they want you to pay for equipment. You know, it's kind of like we'll send you a check and then you buy the equipment from our vendor. That's a big scam. That check will bounce and then you'll be out that money. Um, another work from home scam is saying that you got to pay to have your check processed and that's a part of working from home arise does that quite a bit they charge platform fees and this fee and that fee and then pretty soon you're working for free by paying those fees so i am working 1099 how can i save for retirement uh <clears throat> the best thing to do i always say and i am not a financial educator okay i have what i do and then you're going to have what you do um, I would go to your bank, talk about different savings and money markets and Roth IRAs and whatever that, you know, you would need more information about. And I say, when you go to the bank, don't make a decision that day. Go ahead and, you know, ask questions, write questions down that you have, go over the information, research online. So for example, say you're doing a money market account okay well so what can you expect you know how long does the money need to sit there how much money needs to sit there what are you getting back from the money sitting there um, my mom bought uh, certificates of deposits and she did that for quite a while and then when she needed the money just cashed them in um, she couldn't touch them for five years I believe is the time that she had set. Um, if you have been with me from the beginning, you know I had invested in Fundrise. And I did that until I needed equipment. So I cashed out my Fundrise, got equipment. Um, you know, there are different things that you can do with your money. Some people like buying in stock, investing in like utility companies, water companies, gas companies, stuff like that. I can't personally tell you, you know, this is what you should do, this is what you shouldn't do, but listen to your financial advisors, talk it over with your family, and then just kind of take it from there. All right, everybody, that was a short, short video, and my name is Becky, and I will see you next time.